Oh my, I like the setup. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I'm watching the office and my kitty is sleeping down right here. Now she's awake. setup yeah looks a lot different huh it's a really good thing it's actually 1 a.m. I have become nocturnal and that's fine it's it's what it is okay today we are going to be creating this look that I posted on my Instagram and I had really good feedback and it will be using the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette and I'm so excited to go ahead and do this on camera. I practiced a lot and it took me like, I think it was four hours to just come up with this look. Well, I did like five looks before and I did not like it. And then I finally came up with this one and I was like, how did I not think of this sooner? So that's what we're gonna do today. My kitty is scratching the chair, hi. And let's get into it. everything. I used my new Iconic London foundation, stick foundation game changer am i right like can, can this be any more flawless and my skin's looking really really good too because my husband and i have completely changed our diets this past like week and a half who knew am i right am i right so i'm gonna go ahead and speed through that so you can't hear me listening to the office and then i'll be right back to do my eyes okay All right, we're good, we're good, let's go. All right, so first I'm gonna be taking my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primal P what? It's 1 a.m., you girl needs coffee. Shadow Primer Potion, thank you. I have a new light setup too, obviously, because I told you it's 1 a.m., so like it's not light out, and I usually use the sunlight from the window, so. We're using extra lights today. I just looked at it and now I can see spots. Oh god, that was my fault. Are we ready? Let's go. I'm gonna put that on both of our lids. And my kitty is back. Right when I just started my video. Why? What happened? You heard me talking and then I, now you wanna play? I always like blend it in with a brush and then I pat it. With my finger. This lighting really makes a difference. Like, how did I not think of this sooner? Whatever, here we are, we're here. 
We're living, we're thriving. All right, the star of the show. Okay, Urban Decay Naked Reload palette. Bam! Oh, it's beautiful, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Look at that! Okay, so the colors we're using today are Angel Fire. Oh, I should look at it like this. Angel Fire, Reputation, Burn, Endgame, Bucked, and Boundaries. Also, you will see on my Instagram, I went ahead and posted a picture of my look, the one that I posted earlier, but I'll post it right here again. And uh, if you scroll to the, if you swipe to the, yeah, if you swipe to the left, you'll see that I posted a picture of this palette with all the colors that I used. So if you want to like change it up a little bit, you're more than welcome to, but I'm just going to go ahead and recreate the look. And here we go. Okay, first, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go ahead and take Blur, which is just this super skin tone, I guess you could say, and I'm just going to put that all over my lip. Hi, Sheba. Hello. Can I, are you stuck? Let go. Thank you. All over the lid. And then, because I'm feeling crazy, I'm going to take Bribe and just put it right under my brow bone. Can you even tell? I don't know. A small fluffy brush. It's my smallest one I have. And I'm going to go ahead and dip into... I'm going to start with Boundaries. This one right here. Okay. And we're just going to put that a little bit above the crease. I guess this look you could say is going to be a mini cut crease. Yeah, we'll go with that because your girl's still learning. So right above... So like right on on my brow bone is that what it is why is my nose itch isn't it when your nose itches that means someone's talking about you is that a thing we're off to a great start you guys that looks good i like this song you guys can't hear it because i'll get copywritten and i'm not even monetized and i don't want to even jeopardize that so it's a whole thing but it's how deep is your love by calvin harris so good did i even set my under eyes Okay, well now I did. I'm gonna keep going in that color, just tighten it up a little bit, you know? You know? Just gonna do that on the side. Do you guys prefer if I just do one eye and then do the other one off camera or like speed through the side? Like, do you guys care? I don't know. Oh my God, why am I sweating? I'll take my slippers off. Oh, that's better. I was gonna drink hot coffee right now and I was like, I'm already sweating, like why would I want to sweat more, you know? Because like, if I turn the fan on, y'all can hear it and that's just so annoying. I was like, nah, not gonna do it, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Bucked. I'm gonna take the same brush, I, I don't have enough brushes to keep switching brushes, so. We work with what we have. I'm gonna go a little tiny bit under blend it out a little bit I just like how these two colors mix so that's what I did all right when I put all these colors on my lid last night I was just like mind blown it was so dang beautiful it was amazing so fingers crossed I can recreate it perfectly we'll see how this goes of course same brush we're gonna dip into endgame it's just gonna be the darkest darkest matte I guess or brown matte in the palette we are gonna literally take like the tiniest amount you can ever imagine and we're just gonna focus it right on the most outer part of our eye and blend it in because I have learned that doing a cut crease you put concealer on your eye. So if you go too far in, you're gonna put concealer on it. You're not even gonna know. Ah, oh, the ways of makeup. Uh, what are you doing? She's so cute. I binge watched a show called Glow Up on Netflix. If anyone's like newly into makeup like I am, I think you'll really like it. Like those people are so dang creative. It's amazing. It's very inspirational. I watched it. I think it was like 
15 or so episodes and I watched it in like two and a half days. So let's go. It's just keep blending, just keep blending. It's not gonna be like the most smokiest eye you've ever seen in your life. Like it's just gonna be very like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. So like, I'm literally almost done with this side. Just buffing it out because I don't want it too dark. I feel like if I go way too, if I go too heavy handed, like the look literally will just get away from me way too fast. So I just don't even bother with that anymore. I just know what I need to do and how much product I need to put on my brush. And that that's it. And then I just go for it. Ow, I just hit my funny bone. That's not funny. Ouch. Keep blending. And another tip I learned is like just use whatever excess you have on the brush to just keep blending. Like you can barely even tell I have product on this brush. Like that's how light I'm going. Like it's crazy. Next thing I'm gonna take is this little tiny flat top. My concealer! So for my concealer, I will be using e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer with a satin finish. I am in Fair Beige. Look how light that is. If transparent were a color. Okay, sweet friends, I need to hold the mirror close to this. So I have it on the back of my hand. I just take a little tiny bit. You're gonna want it on like the tip of your brush. I'll scoot it a little bit. But you are gonna want to literally start on your inner corner and go right on top of like where your eyeball is. You'll feel it. Shiba! Are you okay? There. And then whatever's left on your brush, bring it down. Chunk, what do you need? You wanna play? Okay, hold on. So I just take that, and as you notice, it goes really, really close to that darkest brown I put on out there. And you just want this line to be very sharp because that's where you're gonna put your glitters. You notice how I couldn't talk while I was doing that? One day I'll be able to. Okay, and then what I do is I take my finger and I'll just like, it so it's not like super super like sticky and then i'm just gonna do the other side really really fast brb those two done and once again I don't have a lot of brushes so your girl's using the same exact brush she just put the concealer on with okay we're gonna start with angel fire so it's gonna be this beautiful let me see if I can swatch you see that? it's almost like a highlight it's so dang beautiful so this one's gonna go on the innermost part and I'm gonna divide this into three if that makes sense so I'm using angel fire reputation and burn so each one is going to get one third of where I just put the concealer, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Math, right? Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and do it! Please be mindful. Stay where the concealer is. Does that make sense? If you go a little over one third of your eye, it's okay because each color progressively gets darker, so it'll just cover it. It's totally fine. Oh, that is so pretty. I gotta hurry up and play with my kitty before she goes crazy on me. Oh, it's so beautiful. Other side really fast. Perfect. Okay. We are next gonna move on to reputation. Let me. Let's watch this baby. Ooh, 
so beautiful. Literally gonna do the same exact step. If you go a little crazy, a little too far, it's okay. Cause we're getting darker each time. Perfect. Other side. Okay, lastly, we are going into burn. Oh, I think burn's my favorite. It's just so gorgeous and it's so perfect because it blends like right into that darkest matte brown that we put on. We did good, you guys. So just get your overlap going so it doesn't look like you're freaking Neapolitan ice cream, you know? It could happen. And then, my sweet friends, we are gonna use our greatest makeup tool. A finger! Go ahead and tap, tap, tap on those lines that blend everything together. Woo! Yes. Yes. Other side. Woo! Yes! Oh my gosh, okay. What was I gonna do now? I don't remember. Use that brush, I lied. We still did it for a second. Um, I'm gonna get, dip back into blur. Just very easy. And we're gonna go right under the brow bone. Just to diffuse any harsh lines we have. Other side. We don't have harsh lines because I was so light-handed with this. Like, there was no chance for me to even get harsh lines, and I blended a lot. So, oh yeah, we look like a fancy Neapolitan ice cream. You're welcome. I'll be right back. I'm gonna put lashes on. Be right back. All right, sweet friends, I am back. Just put my lashes on. I don't know how in the heck I did that so fast. And Lily lashes mascara and just combine them. Yes. Okay. Okay. I don't like, well, I've come to the conclusion that I do not like eyeliner. So wearing actual thick lashes makes me feel, oh, I forgot to turn my music off. Me feel like I have eyeliner on because it kind of just defines everything. Did that make sense? I don't know. Who am I I'm talking to my cat. What am I doing? I'm asleep. It's fine. It's fine. It's 1.30 in the morning now. Okay. So we are very, very quickly gonna go ahead and smoke out our bottom lash line, throw on some bottom mascara, some lip gloss. We're done. Ready for date night, or wherever you'd like to wear this makeup. And grab, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this pointed brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Bucked. It's like the middle brown that we used. I'm gonna do this on the inner part. And this is totally optional too. You don't have to smoke out the bottom lash line if you don't want to. Like if you're totally happy, just leave it. And then once again, we're just doing the inner half. Perfect, okay. And then for the outer half, we're gonna dip into Endgame. I've said that name like 50 times today, it's fine. Popular color in this look. And don't fret if it's like a little crazy right now. All right, happy with that. And then I'm just gonna go in with a larger flat top brush and just pick up a little bit of boundaries and I'm just gonna smoke it out a little more, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like you got a little too cray cray, go in with some concealer and just clean it up. It is no big deal. Like for me, like I went a little crazy right here. Just gonna clean that up a little. Easy. Okay, 
We're gonna put on some bottom lash mascara, some lip gloss, and this look is done. Shimba, you guys ever feel like one side of your lashes looks way better than the other side, and you're like, why? It gets more volumized. Does that make sense? Is that what I'm trying to say? I think that's what I'm trying to say. Yes, I'm confident that's what I was trying to say. I forgot, we're gonna do the inner corner. I'm picking up a little bit more angel fire. Oh yeah, that looks so good. It just like ties everything together. Let's put some lip gloss on. I have made a complete disaster of my desk. Oops. Should I do like a clear? Or I'm gonna do clear. No, nope, I'm gonna do Kylie. I'm gonna be Kylie Jenner Velvet Liquid Lipstick and Candy K. I love myself sniffing it. I don't know why it's not weird. Yeah. Okay, absolutely. Should I put chapstick on? Ooh, that tip totally works. So everyone makes like an X right here. Ooh. Oh, I am happy with this choice. Damn, that was a thumbnail. Damn, there it was again. Sorry, Coach, did I wake you up? I apologize. This is the completed look. I think it looks bomb AF. Yep. And it's food. really like this new setup let me know below if you guys like this new setup too because one I feel like you can see way better and two I can film at night like what a concept please go ahead give this video a thumbs up I just got concealer on my dress that I just washed it's fine please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up let's subscribe to my channel you won't regret it and Comment below what you'd like to see next. I have a few ideas, but I always like to be back, you know? And I'll go ahead and post some details down below. I'll put all the products that I use down below, not a problem. Everything that I put on my face and including the colors if you missed it. But I don't think you did. But thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Please subscribe once again. We're so close to my goal of 50. And thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye guys.